Sure, moving to a car that runs on electricity might seem at first as radical as going from taking the occasional photo whenever you've got a camera handy to snapping several thousand a year with your phone. But we all seem to have adapted to that. Living with your EV is about as difficult as living with your phone. It's arguably even easier because you don't need to charge your EV daily like your phone unless you're driving a lot of kilometres. We're all pretty used to plugging our devices in and monitoring their battery levels. And owning an EV is just like that because you'll charge it wherever it's convenient to you, which might be at home, on the road, when you're out and about, or potentially at work. Running an EV is a lot like using the cars you've always known because basically they work in the same way, except the fuel is power stored in the battery rather than petrol or diesel in the fuel tank. The easiest way to think about it is rather than putting petrol into a fuel tank, you're putting electricity into a battery. Power is then sent to an electric motor rather than a combustion engine, but the basics are the same. And now, just like a petrol or diesel car, if you need to top up your battery, you can charge at a public EV charging site, such as this ultra-fast Amp Charge EV charger at Ampol Foodery. The size of an EV's battery is measured in kilowatt hours, and the bigger the battery, generally speaking, the further its driving range. It's the same age-old logic as petrol-powered cars. A bigger fuel tank allows you to travel further. While all petrol pumps are the same, however, EV chargers are very different. At home, you can plug your EV into a wall power socket or a faster home EV charger, both of which use AC or alternating current power. With AC charging, you'll get between two and 22 kilowatts of charging power. If you're looking for fast charging at home, Ampol now offers home EV chargers and can even install them for you. The power that comes directly from our homes is AC power, but EV batteries store DC or direct current energy. All EVs have the capability to convert AC power to DC power. And when you plug into an AC charger, your car will automatically convert the power to DC. So it can be stored in the battery. This is why AC chargers take longer than DC chargers to charge your EV. These ultra-fast chargers, however, use DC power. And that means they can provide up to 150 kilowatts of charging power, so they can charge significantly faster. Adding another little wrinkle to the whole charging question, however, is that not all EV batteries can charge at the same speed, so charging times will vary. Usually, at an ultra-fast 150 kilowatt DC charger, you'll be able to charge your EV from 10% to 80% in about 30 to 50 minutes. This EV here is the Hyundai Kona Electric Standard Range, and it's got a 48.6 kilowatt hour battery with a range of 370 kilometers. That means that on one of these 150 kilowatt amp charge chargers, you can get it from 10% to 80% in as little as 45 minutes. It's worth noting that once you hit 80% charge, your charging rate will slow down to protect your EV's battery. Keep in mind that much like your petrol car, you shouldn't run your EV completely empty. And when we're talking about range, it's also worth noting that the average Australian only drives around 36 kilometers a day. So if you own an EV, you're probably not gonna to need to charge it as often as you might think. When it comes to the actual charging process, it's really pretty similar to plugging in your phone. Although the cable, is quite a bit thicker. So you just pop open this flap here, which looks exactly like an old fuel filler cap, come to think of it. Plug the charging connector firmly into the EV here. Then initiate your charging session, which will lock the charging connector in place, ensuring it can't be removed whilst charging. If you're using an app like the Ampol app, you can monitor your session whilst going about your business. Once you finish charging, you simply end your session unlock your EV and return the charging connector to the charger. And that's it, you're all good to go. Amp Charge on the road EV chargers have industry standard CCS2 and CHAdeMO connectors, or in some cases, dual CCS2, which are compatible with most EVs available in Australia. So you won't need to bring your own charging cable to an Amp Charge site. Amp Charge EV charging bays are conveniently placed at select Ampol foodery sites, like this one, so you can grab a snack and a drink and recharge yourself while Ampol charges your EV. Foodery stores are open early morning till late, so you'll be able to charge at any time of the day. Ampol's charging cost rates can be found via the Ampol app for each location. 
Their app allows you to find your nearest Amp Charge EV charger, check real-time charger availability, charge your EV, receive exclusive Ampol app offers, and pay securely with several easy payment methods, all at your fingertips. Nationally, Ampol is building a network of ultra-fast EV chargers across Australia, both in their service stations and in public destinations, such as shopping centres, helping to power your journey no matter where it takes you. So there you have it. Charging an EV is really easy. And when you do it at a familiar location, like an Ampol foodery, you'll feel like not much has changed at all.